Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a step back from Team of the Season in today's video to look at something hopefully even greater and more exciting for this game, the Euros, because we have some leaks and some crazy looking card designs that have just been released. I want to talk about what those cards might be and when we might be seeing them because we're not that far from the month of June and the Euros and Copa America starting. Now, of course, we're still going to talk about Team of the Season because Ultimate Tots starts tomorrow, and EA released new weekend league rewards, the best that we've seen yet, which makes sense. The best cards and packs for Ultimate Tots, the best weekend league rewards, those two go together nicely. Those were updated yesterday, and we have to talk about that in today's game as well. And I got to address some of the comments on yesterday's video, guys, because I think there's a lot of people in the community that need to hear what I have to say on these issues at the moment. So we're going to talk about that in this video as well. Get ready. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go to SBCs and talk about what happened yesterday first to start things off. It was a Wednesday, right? So you guys know what we got and we talked about it yesterday. Of course, we knew what was coming. Guaranteed Tots packs on the Wednesdays. Syria Tots guaranteed two SBCs this time. Instead of just an 88 rated squad for like it was for La Liga, we have an 85 and an 86. Guys, the SBC is coming in at 80,000 coins, which actually, in terms of cost, makes it the second most expensive guaranteed TOTS pack for any league of team in the season for Serie A, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you think about it, uh, that you had cards last week that were 6 million coins, 8 million coins, like Bellingham and, and Vinny, right? But this week, the SBC is a little more expensive. I don't know why, uh, but the weight seemed to be, you know, pretty average, to be honest. I did not get anybody good from my pack yesterday. We opened a bunch on stream. It's on the second channel, all the packs and stuff that we did in the stream yesterday. Make sure you check that out there. It was fun, for sure, because there were a lot of pulls from the pack that were in that 100 to 200k range like we saw a lot of awesome in a lot of awesome in, and that's a really good card you do an 80k sbc you get a 300k awesome in. that's a great pull right we saw pulisic we saw Giroud, um we saw even barella a couple of times and a decent number of berardis and demarcos as well which are honestly above the price of the sbc which is always a W, at least a small W. So the weight yesterday seemed to actually be okay. Of course, there was a lot of Rabios and Smallings and Cauliflowers, as we call him, right? Di Lorenzo. We saw plenty of those cards as well, but it was an okay Serie A Tots guarantee. Like I didn't get anything good, but there was, I know a lot of people that did. So as always, it's an SBC worth trying. Now with these cards, right? And the Tots guarantees on Wednesdays, we're looking at prices because a lot of times the cards go up and to be honest, there was some good coins to be made yesterday if you picked the right cards. Serie A Tots cards did rise a bit. Bastoni had a moment of rarity where he spiked up to 1.5 mil. I was able to sell this one for 1.33. Um, these are the two that I bought at 1.05 and 1 million coins flat or almost 1 mil 5, right? Um, 1.2 mil and 1.33. So a really good flip there. Um, I still have one Bastoni left and I had two pull of six at like 400, 410. He's like 440. So he did good. Um, Barella is up. I think Osiman is back up as well. Dybala went up like 100K. He was under 1.6. Uh, he went up a decent amount. Lautaro did good. So there were some good rises on some of these Tots cards. Now, to be honest, I would sell them. Like, I'm in the process of selling the Pulisic and selling the last Bastoni so that I can get my coins ready to go for Ultimate Tots. And just because, um, you know, I don't think these cards are going to do that well. There is a lot of gameplay demand this weekend, which we'll talk about in a second. But I just, I don't know. I want to get rid of those Serie A cards because I still don't want to get stuck with somebody who's going to get re-released back into packs for Ultimate Team of the Season. Now, the last SBC that we had yesterday, since there were only two, was not that great of one. But if you're building an NWSL side. Here's a right back for you with Huerta. Card looks okay. Card is pretty cheap. The SBC is coming in at 33,000 coins. So if you need the links, Intercept, Whipped Pass, and Relentless Plus. Not bad playstyle pluses and the Tots plus chemistry. So if that works for you, get the SBC done. It is pretty cheap. Speaking of SBCs, one last thing to cover would be fodder, guys. What do we say every single week? Wednesdays, sell day 88s were eleven and a half thousand coins 89s are 22 almost twenty three thousand coins a piece fodder is up but rivals reward today is gonna bring it down so make sure you take the cash on that before rivals and if you want to try to make some coins today if you're grinding the market before ultimate tots 
watch this space on fodder for some dips and then maybe on open bids with the supply you can get some really good deals and it might go up just a little bit after content as people get on and do some sbcs and stuff like that depending on the content that we get today i think that could be a way you could grind the market just a little bit and try to make some coins today from a grinder's perspective so i wanted to mention that also yesterday we had the bakayoko objective when i heard that we had a bakayoko my mind exactly or specifically went to the fifa 18 bakayoko right they used to play for milan the french center defensive mid that was the most op cdm of the entire fifa 18 year but that was not the bakayoko it is johan bakayoko 44 psv tots plus objective if you need some psv links to either hanchko or to dest there's another card for you right there it's not a terrible card for free but it's not anything super crazy either. Now, let's talk about why there's going to be a lot of people playing this game starting today and into the weekend because of the new TOTS, Ultimate TOTS, Champs Rewards update. This was kind of out of the blue, guys. We didn't expect this, but all of a sudden, these rewards are showing in-game. Rank 6 and above, the player picks are the only thing that changed here. Rank 6 and above, you get a player pick now that is not just a 1 of 3 ultimate tots player pick. It is a 1 of 3 94 plus player pick. Look at rank 1. 3 of 1 of 5 94 plus champs from ultimate tots players. That's pretty crazy that that 94 plus stipulation is in there. But I think there's a bit of a caveat to this after a couple more tweets that we saw yesterday. 94 plus seems insane, right? Because if you look at 94 plus only from Syria tots alone, like, you know, you've got a couple of fodder cards in there. Like Ferguson is 94. Of course, Summer, he's going to be low. But Barella and everybody else above that is good, right? That's a really, really insane opportunity to get from whoever's in ultimate team in the season the, the 94 plus cards are the good ones but yesterday fifa romania who has the entire list of the cards that are going to be in ultimate tots he just hasn't tweeted it yet N neither have any of the leakers but they definitely have it based off of this info he's saying golovin and ferguson are the cheapest 94 rated players to feature in the ultimate tots team so if that's the bottom of the barrel from weekend league rewards this weekend sure you're going to see them in picks pretty commonly but that means there's a really good chance of packing some other 94, 95, and above rated TOTS cards from these picks. It is going to be a very sweaty weekend of foot champs because everybody's going to be trying to get the best rank that they possibly can. But if these are the cheapest 94 rated cards, are there even going to be that many that are below 94 in this Ultimate TOTS team? To me, I would probably say no. Like we were saying yesterday in the stream, what they like to do is they like to put in some players to the Ultimate TOTS squad that are kind of like fodder players that would still you know be nice to pack like a gundawine right or you know even some of the goalkeepers usually get re-released like maybe a carval hall carval hall could be an ultimate tots and he would be one of the most commonly packed cards when all of the other vinnies and the bellinghams and the griezmanns are in packs right so i don't know if there's going to be that many that are below 94 rated but if there are they will not be included in the champs rewards and just the fact that a 94 plus ultimate tots stipulation is built into rewards is pretty crazy so there's going to be a lot of gameplay demand which while we're talking about the market and prices going down and the reason why i wanted to sell some of my Syria tots cards is, is there at the same time there's going to be opportunities to trade because there's going to be people buying cards on the market today playing the game to try to get ready even just to start playing qualifiers for the weekend league and friday this weekend it's going to be a good time to trade as well so that is one thing i wanted to mention because that random rewards update was one of the biggest things from yesterday on this game. Now, that's enough TOTS talk, right? We've been talking about TOTS for six, seven weeks now. Let's take a step back and look big picture because it's only a couple of weeks away. Guys, the Euros. Like, oh, I am getting so excited for the Euros because of these leaks and just because it is almost freaking June. Yesterday, we had four new card designs added for the euro 2024 content and stuff that is coming soon guys this is stuff that is new it's fresh it's exciting because the euros only happen every four years right and this is something that could bring some hype back to this game honestly it could truly bring some hype back because team of the season is long it drags out i mean it's been marred by all the mistakes and issues that we've had like with the league one tots picks and the compensation things that have happened during tots and just Team of the season for FC24 hasn't been looked at in the in the greatest of lights, but this could bring some hype back to this game with another summer, summer competition, and of course one as big as the Euros. We had some leaks yesterday. 
but we have more today. Guys, these are the four new car designs that have been added to the code. Nobody knows what these cards are for or what purpose they serve, but all we know is these are really crazy looking cards, man. Like, I don't know if I'm on the, on the side that says these cards look great. I can't decide, but these are the leaked car designs. This is two of the four. I'll show you the other ones here in a second. Like, notice this. It's something to do with the Euro kind of, um, what's the word? Like, their image. Like, the Euro, the UEFA Euro's image this year, the branding is like all the different flags kind of pointing into one spot, like on the Euro Cup trophy, right, for, for the logo this year. And it's kind of like that for these cards. Like, there's like a little bit of France looking in here. There's a little bit of like Greece, you know. It's it's all sorts of colors with this car design. It's really just wild. I hope that this little like flag strand that sticks out here and on the right side of the card, that's my biggest hope for this car design that I hope that that's there because that's something we've never seen before. That would be really sick. This car design here, I don't know. We're going to have to see somebody on it to really know how it looks because the colors don't, I mean, they do vibe, but they also don't, I don't know. It, it just looks like somebody had to color between the lines and they picked a different crayon, a different design for every single different part of the card. If there were lines going down you know what I mean? Like it's crazy. It's all over the place, but we've had cards that have looked crazy kind of like this before. And I want to show you those in a minute. Those are the first two card designs. Those are the more premium looking cards. Here's the other two. There's not as much going around the edges. There's not a whole lot going on here. The Euros logo is still at the top of the card. You've got one here with some blue and white stripes, uh, some red and some yellow, some black and white, and you've also got some designs on this blue one as well. These are all Euro-related cards, guys. I know some people are like, oh, is this related to Copa America? I don't think so, because it's got the Euro, literally the Euro logo on the top of all four of these different card designs. So what could these cards B. I think back to the Euros in FIFA 21 when we had two major different car designs. We had the Summer Stars, which were kind of like man of the matches and almost like footies in a sense. There were still footies, I believe, that year. But um, it was Summer Stars as players who were featuring in those big competitions, the Euros and Copa America. And those cards were really colorful and really crazy as well. Of course, a lot of us remember this promo. It's, it's one of the greatest promos of that year of FIFA 21. It was crazy. So these cards... You know, we're crazy. A lot going on there. Very colorful. And so were the Path to Glories. Now, these were the live cards that were released back in FIBA 21. And they had kind of the same background. Like, if you look at the background behind Griezmann on this Griezmann card and on the Messi card, it's pretty similar. As are these two different card designs. One's more elite seeming. One's more premium than this one is. But they still kind of have both of that crazy stuff going on with the different colors and logo type stuff going on. So, I don't know what kind of cards these are, guys. My guess is none of these are live. I don't know if any of these are Path to Glory versions. That's something that we see for the Summer Games, right? Whether it is the World Cup of years past or the Euros, we have Path to Glory cards like we did in FIFA 21, right? And those are live and upgrading cards based on how a nation does during the competition. I don't think that any of these that have been posted, these card designs, are live because there's no arrows at the top. They could be, but that's just my guess. Guys, we have no idea what these cards stand for right now, but they look really crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, it just seems like this is the higher tier card and this is the lower tier card. So that's all that we have right now. The only other leaks that we have too, and we looked at these yesterday, are the icon and the hero designs. If you haven't seen these, these are a night and day difference, by the way, compared to these. Like, look how cool that looks and look how just like uh, color, I don't even know the colors on this. I don't know how to explain it. It's just wild. But like that compared to this, that icon design and then this hero design it looks nuts. So I'm definitely still excited for that. We looked at that in yesterday's video as well. Um, but that's what's upcoming with the euros. And hopefully we get news and information about what these car designs might be. I have a feeling that this is something related to um, one of these has to be like objectives or milestones or something lower tier like these look lower tier you know i don't know i really don't know guys hopefully we get some news maybe some names right a name of a car design really tells a lot about what's going to be happening but just seeing those car designs kind of like a new promo that we've never seen before it just gets me kind of hyped because it, we're almost there and it's really i hope something that will shake up this game what do you guys think those car designs are for because path to glory and like summer stars are obviously what we remember from the last euros as the best two different car designs that we had Maybe we have something different this year. We'll have to see. Now, we were just looking at an icon card design, right? 
Speaking of icons, this is other big news from yesterday. There was the E Champions League, and Johnny won the E Champions League. He is a German pro player, and he won. So everybody's expecting maybe him to pick a German icon, but like last year at this exact same tournament um kaka was present at the tournament and he like even gave the trophy to yilmaz the winner i believe and then kaka was the one who got the sbc of course this year we're getting an sbc as well for an icon player inspired by the winner which will mean johnny will have a chance to inspire the icon sbc that we're getting and it'll have this card design on the card and everybody right now is speculating that since kaka was there in person last year and he got the sbc rude hullet was there this year is rude hullet getting the sbc if they're going to give rude hullet an sbc this is all i'm going to say about it i don't think it's going to be as good as the foot birthday because this card is nine million coins there's no way ea want to release an sbc for a card like this i mean it would be sick if they would that would be amazing ea do it let us have fun but again this is going to be a different card design anyway they've already said it's going to be this design they could make it that design and have stats very similar to hullet and that could be a good thing but i feel like we might have a 92 or a 93 rated hullet if he's the one that gets an sbc from this that will be the rating of the hullet card kind of like remember we expected a crazy and kunku last year in fifa 23 and we got the foot birthday that was lower rated than the path to glory it could be a scenario like that where we get a rude hullet that is lower rated than the 94. But we're kind of going on this speculation. It's not even a guarantee that we get hullet, guys. It could be Schweinsteiger, which evidently Johnny, since he's German, he used Schweinsteiger in his team. Um, so I don't know who EA is going to allow him to pick or even how much inspiration, as EA worded it, this pro will have in choosing the SBC. But that should be pretty soon. I think after um, Yilmaz won last year, the SBC for Kaka came out a couple days later. So either it's this weekend, I doubt it's today, but it could be as early as today. Who knows? I'm sure EA want to keep that memory of that pro thing fresh in people's minds. I watched it just to get the rewards. Didn't really pay attention to it too much. I mostly heard that it was like corner goals and they were using Drogba. Uh, and I don't even know what Drogba's price is, but I heard Drogba got a lot of positive press uh, in that pro event yesterday. Okay, he's still down a ton. He's up a little bit though. Like, see, yesterday he was like 450K. Okay, see, he got some good press. He went from 440 to 500,000 coins during that tournament as a lot of the pros were using him. Also heard this guy won the tournament on 100 depth on his tactics. I don't know if that's true or not. That's crazy. There's going to be some tactics videos incoming if that's actually true uh, because everybody will want to have his tactics. All right. Anyway, I'm yapping about pros. What has this game, what is the foot accountant come to? Let's talk about Thursday content on this game, guys, because Thursdays have been always an interesting day of team of the season because we get the objectives and the cup more so that are related to the next league that is coming out, right? Last week, we had Syria with all of that XP, which I need to do because I'm still only level 35 and we've got a week left of this season. It's your one week warning to start racking up that XP. Are we getting a cup today, though, for ultimate tots, right? Because we get the um, we get the objectives for the league that is about to be released the next day. Ultimate tots is tomorrow. Maybe they don't give us anything today, guys. I'm thinking that they might not, just because we've had a lot of gameplay in here for the cup, um, and they might just give us this next seven days to kind of catch up. They already dropped the heavy XP last week with the Serie A, and if they're going to drop another version of the cup, I mean, sure, it's more good packs and it's another gameplay mode to grind, which is not a bad thing at all. But like, what are the requirements going to be? Use a player from every single one of the top five leagues from uh, the main TOTS leagues that have been released in your squad. Like, maybe they'll do that. But I'm not sure, guys. That's always a question mark for this last week of a Thursday, or that is a question mark this time. What's not a question mark is Rivals Rewards. I really need to get three more wins to try to get my Division One reward upgrade for the second to last week of rewards here. Probably won't end up getting the three wins though because don't have the desire to play Rivals, especially at this time right before rewards. But rewards are going to impact the market today. As we mentioned, it, there's always tradable rewards open. People are taking the tradable stuff right now just because you have the chance of packing TOTS cards and getting some good coin out of that. Fodder is going to drop. I would even imagine some of the Serie A TOTS cards are going to drop on that middle to lower tier. So if you want to take the safe route, you could take the cash on some of these cards that have gone up, even like a DeMarco on the lower tier and or De Lorenzo is up a couple thousand coins. 
you could take the cash there, especially before we head in to a weekend of ultimate team of the season. Thursdays have also brought the daily login and the daily login that we currently have right now, I believe is expiring today. Um, so I guess an ultimate tots daily login, you would expect it to come out today. Uh, this one expires as you can see, hopefully they give a, a guaranteed ultimate tots pack. I think that's in the code. That's gotta be in the code. There's going to be a guaranteed ultimate tots pack. Um, Hopefully that is the reward for a new team of the season daily login that would come into this game today. So that's something to watch out for 100% as well, even though it's small. Maybe one last Serie A player SBC as well. Thursdays, it feels like they sometimes just kind of jam in the last second content. There might be an SBC today for a Serie A player too. That is something worth mentioning. And guys, can Evos. They've totally forgotten about Evos. We had homegrown tots, which is halfway decent, but it still costs 100,000 coins. Can we get another Evo today, EA Sports? Like a free Evo with a decent upgrade. We're just, we're asking. I, I know hopefully we get some Evos during Ultimate Tots, but I said last week, hopefully we get some Evos during uh, La Liga and during Serie A, and we've only got a couple. So Evos seem to be very much so slowing down. And one last thing is, guys, we do have a couple more leaks about Ultimate Team in the season. I hope and I expect that we will get some more news today. But I want to point you to this Foot Sheriff tweet because there's a little bit of min misinformation here. Um, he says, Ultimate Tots Weekend featuring CR7, Messi, Mbappe, and more. Like for extra luck in your packs. I do, I do believe he ended up quote tweeting this and said that this is not the whole team. That there's going to be 30 plus players. But it makes it seem like Ronaldo and Messi would all be in packs at the same time. Guys, Ronaldo and Messi uh, will not be included in packs for Ultimate Team of the Season until Sunday. Because they were a part of the mixed leagues of Tots, right? On Friday, we're going to get the men's and the women's ultimate tots from the top five leagues re-released. And then on Sunday, we're going to get the ultimate mixed league tots. At least that's according to EA's reward schedule on their website. That is how it would be breaking down. And again, these are not the only players that are in, but I guess this is a leak of some of the top names that are in Salah, Valverde, Rice, Musiala, Bellingham, Bonmati, Teo, who's even in packs right now, right? He's going to stay in packs being an ultimate team of the season. So these are kind of like all the cards that you expect to be in anyway. There's really no surprises here for me of cards you're going to be into ultimate team of the season. But maybe, maybe we see a little bit more info and news about who some of those 94 to 95 rated TOTS cards could be. I think that's the biggest question for a lot of people right now. Like, is Bastoni going to get in? I know he's 96, but is Hyunmin's son going to get in team of the season? Kind of that middle ground, right? The 94 to 95 rated, who's going to get in and who is not going to get in? So that's something to watch out for today, guys, for sure. And the last thing is, I mentioned it in the intro, guys. I want to talk about yesterday's video for a quick minute here at the very end because there was a lot of comments in yesterday's video. And what, what I mean a lot, like a ton about me promoting the store, guys. Of course, I said it multiple times in the video, but this is a big topic right now. Everybody has opinions about the store. We've talked about it a lot recently with the packs that are there. We know that this game is pushing people to the store and is pushing people to spend money. That has been the premise of this game always. And that again is why I want to, re I want to reiterate for those commenting yesterday, I am still doing what I have always been doing, and that has been explaining, reporting, and honestly predicting pretty doggone accurately what is about to happen on this game before it happens. And that is what we try to do to keep you guys prepared and ahead of the game so that you can not lose coins, so that you can play this game in a way where you can make coins, learning by trading, and also avoiding by losing because of hearing about content that's going to come out like what we were doing yesterday because of stuff that impacts the market. And again, the whole reason of me behind doing that is to teach people to play this game and to help people play this game at a very high level without having to spend real money. So to complete my mission and the goal of this channel and those videos, I have to talk about those packs when they get added to the code. I was not intending at all. And that's why I mentioned it multiple times in the video yesterday. At no point was I trying to say, you should open these store packs. I, those words did not come out of my mouth at all, right? Um, I'm not trying to make you open them. That is the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to tell you that a lot of people are going to be excited about those packs that we talked about yesterday because I know this community and I've seen this sort of thing happen so many times. I know how it's going to go down, guys. Just to be completely honest, those packs are going to impact the game this weekend. That's the 
God honest truth, if I'm being honest. So I stand on everything that I said two weeks ago in the rant videos, the uh, stream talk that I did with Nick RTFM. Um, I am still dedicated to changing this game using the connections that I have as in the as a person in the EA Creator Network, who, by the way, has never been told to stop saying what I want to say or been pressured to say something different in favor of EA, guys. I don't have to say good things about EA because they're telling me to, I get to say whatever I want. That is, that's how it works. So whoever told you that, you know, EA's got me by the balls or that was a direct comment from yesterday's video. Uh, that is, that couldn't be farther from the truth. I can say whatever I want, uh, whenever I want regarding this game. So I just wanted to point that out there. And guys, uh, I don't get paid a dime by EA. And it's frustrating to have these conversations. I mean, two weeks after this whole scenario is going down and everybody is still frustrated about this game, it's it's just, it's not fun to have this conversation when there's still so much hate in this community. We can be way better, guys, okay? Let's actually, instead of expending our energy in comment sections and stuff like that, spreading hate and uh, just negative stuff uh, to creators especially but about uh, you know people playing this game in general let's put an effort into actually in tr trying to create change through meaningful conversations and like actually bringing some good ideas to the table instead of just spewing hate so thanks to all you guys i want to say this too thanks to all you guys who have been supporting this channel for days months and even years i hate that i even have to say these things uh but it is the sad reality and uh yeah let's end with an 84 times 7 with no blue yeah that was cheeks these packs have been cheeks and uh i'll see you guys in the stream today guys but i wanted to end with that because that was the sad reality of the youtube comments yesterday and uh yeah i appreciate you guys who are sticking with the channel and uh watching the videos i'm still in enjoying this game to a degree it definitely the last couple of weeks have taken a toll on me and made me Definitely get frustrated with this game. I'm in the same boat as all of you guys with this game right now. Like, it is way more frustrating. But it's still, I'm finding what I enjoy in this game, which is the market and the news and, you know, the content that is upcoming, all of that. I'm still finding enjoyment in that because there are still good things about this game. There are a lot of bad things as well. So that's the video for today, guys. I will see you in the stream today. It's been Nate with Accountant. Peace out.